That's the new building they are making right now. It's right front of the Tokyo Station. Tokyo Midtown Yaesu. Bus terminal will be over there. But still, we need to take a bus over here though. But can you believe that from the first floor to fourth floor, there will be an elementary school. Yeah, elementary school. And uh, on the top will be the Hotel of the Blue Gully. It's a public school, but this area, living fee is really expensive. So anyway, it will be a fancy school. Right now, we are at the east part of Tokyo Station, Yaese Exit. If you want to use the Tohoku Shinkansen, which is going to east, this is the station that you want to come. Yep, that green sign. That's the Shinkansen going to east. Also, if you want to go to west part of Japan, you need to take a Tokaido Shinkansen, which is the blue one. Both are leaving from Tokyo Station. West is the blue one, Tokaido. And if you want to go to the east, Tohoku, which is the green one. And this is the place that you can buy the Shinkansen ticket. You can buy the Shinkansen ticket over here, but I recommend to get one on the internet. Yep, that's much convenient. Unless if you have a JR pass. This is the station most of travelers will use when they visit Japan. So today I'm heading to Narita Airport and try to show you guys how to get to Narita Airport from Tokyo Station and how to get to Tokyo Station from Narita Airport. There are two ways to get there, bus and the train. There are pros and the cons. Prices are really similar. So today, when I go to the Narita airport, firstly, I will use the bus. And when I come back to Tokyo station, I will use the train so that I can introduce both way. Also, I can introduce a recent Japan situation after Japan is the border for travelers. Here we go, so this is the bus stop for Narita Airport. It's number 7. It costs 1,300 Japanese yen for adults, 650 Japanese yen for children. Before, it was 1,000 Japanese yen, but it increased the price. There are 4 buses in an hour for now. Right now, you don't have to make a reservation to ride on the bus, you can just wait over here. Yep, seems like it's not that packed, so why not? Let's do it. Oh, one thing you have to be careful is that you have to pay it by cash or train IC card. You can't use the credit card. You can get the train IC card at the airport or any station. So when you arrive to Japan, make sure you get one. All right, so let's be in line. Here we go. We are leaving here at 2 p.m. So let's time how long it will take. By the way, you can check in the big luggage over here. Alright, let's go. Hi, Thomas. It's not that packed, and also there is a restroom over there. It's just about an hour trip, but uh, having a restroom, definitely better. Yeah, feels safer too. So, in the bus, this is how much space you have. Uh, I think it's a little bit bigger compared to the LCC airplane. There is an AC window. Also, room light. But seems like this one, it's not working. Maybe because it's a daytime. And there is a USB charger on this side. Yep, it's on the each side. Seems like there is no Wi-Fi on this bus. I remember the last bus I took to go into the Narita airport, there was an internet. So if you want to use the internet, probably uh, you'd better check it. Also inside the bus, you have to wear the mask. There are still so many places requires wearing a mask. So make sure bring your mask when you visit Japan. Now, AC is working pretty strongly. It's cold, so let me close it. One thing that I realized is that compared to before, definitely there are more people in the bus. <laughs> Sounds like almost arrived. I was totally asleep. Alright, here we go. 
we arrive to the terminal number one. So right now it's 3 p.m. Exactly takes one hour. It was pretty comfy. I only could sleep. So if you have a small kids or big luggage, definitely the bus is recommended. So let's go to check the airport. Oh, so many people compared to before. You know, the airport was like a ghost town before. But now, people came back to the airport. Super glad to see that. So right now, we are at International Departure Lobby. Restaurants and the shops are over here. Let's go to check there. Wow. So many people in the airport. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Before I come over here, I was doubting still Japan is opening or not, but now I am sure that uh, Japan opens for travelers now. I hear so many kinds of languages over there. So how about the restaurants? Are they open now? Starbucks is open. Travel shop is open. Oh, seems like this tax free souvenir shop is closed and this backpack shop is open now so it's that souvenir store abc mart shoe shop is closed and this souvenir store is open now Fuji to go is open and the drugstore is open too. How about the restaurant? This Chinese restaurant is open. Also sushi restaurants. Seems like this soba and uh, sukiyaki restaurant is closed. But uh, Saboten, which is the tonkatsu restaurant, is open. Let's go to check the fifth floor as well. Also, observation deck. By the way, there are gacha phones everywhere in Japan, even in the airport. It's like a slot machine in the Vegas. So, yeah, if you love gacha phone, definitely you'll be happy. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is useful. You can place the name stamp 10 times at once. <laughs> 300 Japanese yen. I'm wondering when I can use it, but uh, interesting. And if you love yakitori, here we go. It's 200 Japanese yen. It's as big as the real one. You can eat it though, but uh, you can remember yakitori everywhere. Oh, there are another gacha phones. This one, One Piece version, huh? But uh, we don't see any One Piece gacha phone though but more anime characters. And here, another one. Oh my goodness, look at this one, it's so cute. <laughs> Tansan Yanji. Uh, you can place them into the battery place. Well, you can't use it as a battery. It's not practical at all, but uh, yeah. Those gacha phone stuff is not practical. So it's okay, 300 Japanese yen. Really cute. And uh, we are at Sky Food Court. Seems like all the restaurants are open now. Let's go to the observation deck. Wow. Pretty much all the seats are taken. Oh sweet, there is a place to take a photo. Well, last time when I was here at the Narita airport, it was pretty empty. But now, yeah. So glad to see that people are coming back to the airport. Loving it. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan TV. I'm Ryan Seto Kang. Please don't forget to check my Instagram and Twitter account. Anyway, I'm hungry, so let's go to eat. 
So, what kind of food should I eat? Here we have Chinese udon, Thai, and the pasta. Hmm, let me see. What else we have? Have you seen this character, which is a really popular mascot of Fujiya in Japan? I thought that's a cake restaurant, but uh, they have restaurant too. I've never tried that. Oh, look at this. It's a kid's lunch for adult. Looks pretty good. And uh, this hamburg steak. Bacon hamburg. Tonkatsu. Ebi fry. It's huge. I'm wondering if it's a real one. Anyway, why not? Let's try this Fujiya restaurant. Let's do it. So those are the menu items. Oh, this cob salad looks pretty good. And they have a pizza too. And uh, yeah, 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 this is the one. Fujiya's Otona no Okosama Lunch. Okosama Lunch is the really popular kids play, but this one is for adult version. Interesting. Price is 1,790 Japanese yen, including tax 1,969 Japanese yen. Well, yep, definitely. That's the price for the adult kids play. <laughs> Oh, this pasta looks pretty good. Oh, and this garlic rice with steak. Huh, which one should I pick? This steak or this adult kids plate? Which one should I order? Which one? Which one? By the way, this is a really popular place for dessert as well. If you want to take a break with coffee and sweets, maybe you can stop by here too. This strawberry pancake costs 1,100 Japanese yen. Those ice cream puppet costs 935 Japanese yen. They have a cake with coffee. Price is 1,145 Japanese yen. Hmm, looks pretty good. By the way, I have a nice view. Here, here it arrives. Yes, I have ordered adult kids plate. Well, I wanted to eat a steak too, but I've never heard that the kids play for an adult. So I think that's a special thing. So why not? <laughs> and also, I really wanted to try this huge deep fry shrimp. Mm, actually, it's pretty big. So, itadakimasu. It must be good with this hamburg sauce. Mm. Psycho. So how about the hamburg? <laughs> Mistake. Never mind. Alright, so how about the hamburg? Itadakimasu. Mm. The hamburg steak, nice meat flavor. Loving it. Also it comes with salad. Sorry, I'm not sure what kind of dressing it is, but I believe it's onion dressing. And how about this? I'm not sure what it is. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. oh. It's a crab croquette. Mm. So let's go to the main dish, omurais. Well, omurais is really traditional Japanese food. Outside, there is an egg. Inside, ketchup, the chicken, rice. Itadakimasu. Bonjour. Yup, egg is really fluffy. Thinking about the airport food quality, I think it's pretty good. Mm. By the way, this is the symbol of the kids plate. Is it popular in your country as well? I'm wondering. Yeah, when I was a kid, I love kids plate. And then whenever I see this flag on the of rice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Natsukashi. Well, again, this is like a gachapon. Nothing practical. But uh, yeah, whenever we see this, uh, we can recognize that's a kids plate. And I believe this is a corn potage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much simple corn soup. This restaurant closed at 5 p.m. and it seems like other restaurants are closing as well. Still, there is an effect of the pandemic. 
but uh, compared to before, definitely it gets much much better. I'm super happy to see that. Well, Japan will open for individual tourists from October 11th. After that, probably it will be more and more people. Well, can't wait to visit airport again. But the next time, I wanna visit the Haneda airport though, because I wanna check the different airports. Hmm. By the way, if you sit down the other side, you can see the airplane as well. Ooh, I'm so full. That was pretty good. The price was about 2,000 Japanese yen. You know, Japanese yen are really weak now, so yeah. For travelers, it's a good deal. For Japanese, a little bit expensive. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's an airport price. So now we are at terminal number one. Let's go to check terminal number two. There is an anime deck. Oh my goodness, look at this side. It's so cool. It looks like actually flying. Awesome. Price is 1650 Japanese yen. Go, go, hikoki. By the way, airplane in Japanese is hikoki. hikoki. To go to terminal number two, we need to take a bus. It's leaving from the first floor. This is the way. So this is our rival lobby. Yep. So many travelers. Wow. It was like cancel, 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 cancel before. But now, pretty much all the airplanes are arriving. If you want to go to the terminal number two, we have to take a bus from number six. Oh, and where is number six? Let me see. Oh, I got it. That's terminal number six. By the way, this is the place that going to Tokyo station. Yep. The bus we used. And this is the bus stop number six. Each four minutes, new buses are coming. It takes seven minutes. Uh, it's about one minute. Oh, here we go. Sweet. So this bus first we going to the terminal number three and then go to the terminal number two. Actually, terminal number three is pretty quiet, so we can skip that. Let's go to terminal number two. By the way, this bus has the free Wi-Fi. All right, arrived to terminal number two. Let's explore this place. It was like a ghost town, but I believe now totally different. Let's go. So this is the arrival lobby. Wow. Seems like some sport team from Indonesia. This place is really packed. Let's go to the second floor so that we have more space. And here we go, finally we could come over to the Narita Anime Dekki. This place was closed last time when we visited here. But now it's open. Oh, let's take selfie with him. Gundam! By the way, this guy is huge. Alright, so let's see what we have here. By the way, this place too, please wear a mask in the store. Yep. So many places still require a mask, so make sure bring the mask if you visit Japan. Nice. Oh, Boku no Hero Academia. Is this popular anime in outside of Japan too? It's a really popular one in Japan. Oh, so many pro model. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this guy. How much does it cost? I'm wondering. I can't find it. Oh, is this the same guy? A little different, huh? Not sure. But uh, I think it is similar price range with this one. 8,250 Japanese yen. Oh, actually that's not expensive as I thought. You know, it's in the airport. Could be really expensive too, right? <laughs> Naruto fear. Wow. Oh my goodness, this one must be really cute. It's a Sento Chihiro no Kamikakushi. Nato Ryoshika. I think Russian toy. 
You can place the stuff inside, 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 inside. <laughs> so cute. 5,280 Japanese yen. And one piece figure. Azumo and Kimetsu Yaiba too. Also Sangrio. And this is the anime road. You can take photo with your favorite character. Evangelion, Sword Art Online, and Attack on the Titan. Seems like this place used to be a ramen world. Uh, maybe you could try the ramen from all over Japan, but seems like it's closed. I believe due to the pandemic, but I believe something new is coming back. I will give you guys the update later. <laughs> it's a Muran Japanese version. That's a great movie. Speaking of the restaurant, there is Yoshinoya. Oh. Good to see that. Still, you can buy snack and also cup noodles. So many kinds. I'm not sure if they have a hot order here though. Oh, there is an airport mall. Maybe we can find a restaurant over there. Oh, in the third floor. They purchase a lobby and then, yeah, it's much, much bigger than what I thought. And it seems like there is a dining over there. Oh, here we have Japanese cuisine, ramen, udon soba, western cuisine, Chinese cuisine, and also McDonald's and Starbucks. Well, if you just arrived in the second floor and then you couldn't find the restaurant, just come over to the fourth floor. Then, yep, here we go. We can find many restaurants. Well, if you arrive to the second terminal of Narita Airport and then you couldn't find a restaurant, don't give it up. <laughs> yep. For floor, there are plenty of restaurants, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Never mind, let's keep walking. Alright, so now let me show you how to get back to Tokyo Station by train. Goodbye to the airport. So, by the train, just follow the direction. And this is the way for the train. You can directly get into the station. There are several ways to get there. The easiest way is this Narita Express. However, it's a limited express train. Uh, price costs more than double compared to the bus, so this will not gonna be our option today. So, except that limited train, the first way is using this KC line, Narita Airport Terminal. This one over here. So, let's go. So, this limited train goes to Ueno without extra charge. The next train is from 32. So we need to wait a little bit. Oh, it's already really packed. Uh, let's be in line. And this is a free limited express train going to Ueno. Now it's 531. So let's see how long we will take. Now we arrive to Nippori Station. We will change it to Yamanote Line. By the way, inside the train, it was so packed. Just keep straight and you can find Yamanote Line. It's really simple to change the line. And the truck number 10 is a place. Oh, seems like just left the train. It's okay. Let's wait for the next one. Next one, about three minutes from now. Comes really quick. There was a faster way. It will be five minutes faster. However, you know, since train is packed and I could sit down in the train, so that's why I decided to use this route. Your attention, please. The train. And this Yamanote line will directly go to Tokyo Station. To Tokyo Station, about 10 minutes. And 
And here we go, finally we arrived to Tokyo. Luckily, inside the train, it was not really packed. Tokyo, Tokyo. So right now it's 6.58, it took about 1 hour and 30 minutes. Okay, let's go to the Marunouchi exit. Around this time, Tokyo station always crowded. So you gotta be careful too if you have a big luggage. Oh, outside already it gets pretty dark. Yep, this place. Really beautiful. Ooh, so finally we came back to Tokyo Station. Feels like that I come back from this small trip. Anyway, so speaking of transportation going to Narita Airport from Tokyo Station, by the shuttle cost 1,300 Japanese yen and it takes about an hour. By the train, there are two kinds. The expensive one costs about 3,000 Japanese yen and it takes about an hour. And then the cheaper one, it costs about 1,200 Japanese yen but it takes 1 hour and 30 minutes. Well, in my conclusion, I recommend taking bus. Yeah, that's much easier. Price doesn't have much difference and then 30 minutes faster, especially if you have a big luggage. Around this time, Tokyo trains will be really packed, so... Yeah, if you have a stroller or smaller kids, definitely I recommend you to use the bus. Well, however, if you get super easy to get car sick, I still recommend paying money for the first train, 3000 Japanese yen. But if you love riding on the local train, definitely, yeah, coming to Tokyo Station by the local train is the option. Well, before coming back to Tokyo Station from Narita Airport, I prefer the train because I don't really like bus. But you know, that kind of shuttle is really comfy and also just about an hour. So now I prefer the shuttle. Yep, so in my conclusion, if you are coming from Narita Airport to Tokyo Station or Tokyo Station to Narita Airport, yep, just use the shuttle. That's the easiest way. From 7th of November, finally Japan will open for the individual tourists and there will be so many travelers in Japan, I believe. There are two big airports, Narita Airport and Haneda Airport. From 7th of November, Japan will open, so after Japan open for individual tourists, I'm planning to go into Haneda Airport for the next one and I will show you guys the situation update and also I will show you guys how to get there from Tokyo Station. So if you are planning to coming to Tokyo in the future, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can find my channel much easier. And also there are so many Japan travel tip videos on my channel so if you haven't, please don't forget to check my old videos as well. So big thank you to all of my Patreons because of you guys support I can keep making videos. Arigato! Alright, hope you guys enjoy virtual travel to Japan through this video. Arigato! Oh, if you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. Arigato! So see you in the next video. See no ciao! <laughs> Have a great day. Bye bye! Oh, by the way, this is the mobile light I usually use when I shoot the video in the night time. Yeah, <laughs> it's really bright, right? But today, I didn't use it. How was it? You think with light better or without light better? <laughs> if you see this something extra, please let me know in the comment. <laughs> Arigato! Yeah, from the next one, uh, I will think if I use, if I should use lighting or without lighting. Yep. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So see you in the next video. <laughs> Arigato! Ciao! <laughs> bye bye!